CI. This is Tripura from Srinidhi Institute of Science and Technology. We are a group of seven from the same organization, worked on the design and development of uh, a low cost and efficient segue. The group members will introduce themselves during the course of the video. Although these kind of segways have already been in use in many countries, their utilization did not reach India just because they are too expensive. The main intention behind we coming out with this project is to facilitate the utilization of such sophisticated systems at a low cost in India. The construction, design and details of the project will be discussed by our group members who will continue further. Hi, I am Sri Harsha. I am going to take you through the outline and working of our project. Let me first of all tell you the basic principle with which our project works. Uh, when we take a stick and place it vertically on our palm and try to balance it, the moment it tends to fall forward, we move our hand forward in order to balance it. And the moment it tends to fall backward, we move our hand backward in order to keep it straight. In the same way, when we stand on the segway and the moment we tend to fall forward, the segway moves its platform forward in order to catch us. And the moment we tend to lean backward, the segway moves backward in order to keep it straight. This is a continuous process and the segway keeps on monitoring the status of the base platform by taking instantaneous feedback from the sensors that are placed on board. Now let's have a look at TI controller with its peripherals. The software written for TI controller is divided basically into three parts. First of all, reading values from the sensors that is accelerometer and gyroscope and converting those reading in, readings into sensible units. And secondly, after having raw values from the accelerometer and gyroscope, we need to integrate the values of these two sensors and determine the exact position of the base platform by eliminating the unnecessary noises present in the system. After experimenting with wide variety of filters, we finally ended up using complementary filter as it gave us pleasing results with less number of computations. And finally, we have implemented PID control system to generate PWM signals Hi, I am Sudeep. Now let us see the segue in action. We have implemented lean steering mechanism. There is an accelerometer placed on the steering rod which gives the tilt of the steering handle. According to the amount of tilt, motors are controlled to take the desired turn. Hi, this is Napya. I am going to describe you the components used in our project. I will first introduce you to the heart of our project which is the TI MSP430 launch pad. In it, the controller we are used is MSP 430G255 v Coming on to the next one, there are two DC CIM motors which run on 12 volts and there is a 16 to 1 gear box to increase the torque. We have used three sensors to control the speed and direction of the segway. A pair of accelerometer and a gyroscope is used to calculate the angle and angular velocity respectively to continuously monitor the tilt of the platform. To drive the motors, we have used two MOSFET motor drivers and along with the heat sink fans to keep the drivers cool all the time. A fuse box is used in order to protect the MSP430 and the remaining components from excessive currents. Relays are used to switch the system on and off. Our whole system is powered with a 12 volt 18 ampere hour seal lead acid battery. Now our friends will proceed further. Hi, I am Nikit. Now comes the interesting aspect which distinguishes our design with the existing ones. Our research is going on with making our project more energy efficient. We have included a solar panel in order to charge the battery when the Segway is being operated outdoors. We have designed a battery charger circuit using TIIC UC3909, a switch mode lead acid battery charger and a TI MOSFET driver UCC37322. Hi, this is Kaushik. These kind of segways have wide range of applications. Let's see some of them. All traditional 3 and 4 wheel robots can be replaced with these 2 wheel self balancing robots taking advantage of technology and human innovation. Some of the places where a segway can be used are airports, shopping malls, 
campus arenas and large industries. Because of its less base fit, it is easy to travel even through narrow passages. Hi, this is Sayan. Finally, we would like to thank Fixer Instruments. Without whose support and motivation, we wouldn't have come out with this project.